Hey everyone. All right, today's video is going to be over similar figures. Your objective, I will be able to apply the concept of proportionality to identify similar figures. So in similar figures, we have to be able to identify its corresponding parts. So corresponding angles, those are just gonna be the angles that are located in the same place on each figure. So on these triangles, angle A and angle X are located in the same places, so they are corresponding. It works the same way with corresponding sides. So on this quadrilateral, side JK is located in the same place as side RS on the next quadrilateral. So they're sides that are just located in the same place on the different figures. So similar figures, they are not the same size, but they are the same shape. And whenever we have similar figures, the corresponding angles are congruent and these sides are proportional. So in similar figures, the angles are always going to be equal to the corresponding angle on the other figure, and then the sides are just gonna be proportional. So they're not gonna be exactly the same. All right, so let's look at some examples. These would be similar figures. They are the same shape, but they are not the same size. And same goes for what we see here. Now in this figure, we have a small triangle that's within a larger triangle, and those are similar. Non-examples, so like right here, we've got two triangles. They are not the same shape. Even though they're both triangles, they're not shaped the same way, so they are not similar. All right, whenever we wanna determine if figures are similar, we wanna set up within and between ratios. So here's what we mean by that. A within ratio is set up with two sides from the same figure. So if I was gonna set up a within ratio, I would look at one figure and I would write something like six over seven. Because six and seven come from the same figure or I could write 12 over 14 because it comes from within the same figure. A between ratio is set up with two corresponding sides from different figures. So if I was gonna set up a between ratio, I wanna go from one figure to the next. So I could put 10 over 20 or I could put seven over 14. So as you see, I just take a number from one figure and then I put it over the corresponding number from the next figure. All right, let's go ahead and do some examples on how to actually determine if two figures are similar. Now, if figures are similar, then they will be proportional and whenever we solve a proportion or whenever we see if something is proportional, we set the cross products equal to each other. So we're gonna use a within ratio and we're gonna use a between. So let's start with a within ratio. Now, before I do that, I wanna identify corresponding sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color each side and we're gonna identify our corresponding sides with color. So here we have side AB, so I am just gonna go over that in pink. So that's the smallest side on this triangle. On this triangle, side XY is going to correspond because it is the smallest side. Now, on this triangle, this is our longest side. So I'm gonna find the longest side on this triangle, which would be XZ, and I'm gonna kinda of go over that in blue. So we are left with side BC. So that means that would have to correspond with YZ. Okay, so I'm gonna set up a within ratio. So I want numbers from within the same figure. So I'm gonna start with triangle ABC and I am gonna put four over eight. So what I did was I took the pink side and I put it over the blue side. 
So I'm going to do the same thing for triangle XYZ. I'm going to take the pink side and I'm going to put it over the blue side. So now that I have this proportion set up, I'm going to cross multiply. So 4 times 10 is 40. And 8 times 5 also equals 40. So yes, this figure would be similar or these figures would be similar. Now I'm gonna set up a between ratio. So if I go between, I have to go from one figure to the other. So I'm gonna set up four. And since I picked the pink side from this figure, I have to pick, pick the pink side from this figure as well. So four over five, so I'm, I did pink over pink. So if I go to this side and I pick eight, then on this side, I would have to pick 10. I'd have to put blue over blue. So the main thing with between ratios is you have to make sure that you start with the same figure in each one. So I basically just did the smaller triangle over the bigger triangle. And then if we cross multiplied again, 40 would equal 40 and we would see that yes, these figures are in fact proportional, so they are similar. All right, example two, determine if the two figures are similar and provide a proportion to prove your answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have two triangles and one is located inside the other. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this smaller triangle and I'm just gonna kind of redraw it right here just to keep them separate. So on that smaller triangle, this side measures 14, this side measures 10. On the large triangle, this side is 14 and 8 combined, so that means this whole entire side would be 22. So now we have two corresponding sides for each triangle. So I'm going to identify the corresponding sides. All right, so I'm going to label the triangle. This is triangle A, B, C. And then all together, this big one is A, D, E. So on the smaller triangle, side A, B, which I am gonna make pink, that's gonna correspond with side A, D on the bigger triangle. Side B, C, that's gonna correspond with side D, E. And side A, C is going to correspond with side A, E. So I'm gonna start with the within ratio. So I am gonna pick two numbers within the smaller triangle. So I'm gonna put pink over blue. Pink over blue, that would be 14 over 10. And I'm gonna set that equal to the pink over the blue in the bigger triangle, so 22 over 15. And then I am just going to cross multiply so 22 times n, 22 times 10, I am so sorry, I'm getting so tongue-tied in this video. 22 times 10 is 220. 14 times 15, I want you to take a moment to pause and work that out. Okay, and 14 times 15, that would be 210. All right, so this says 210 is equal to 220. That is not equal, so this is not proportional. These are not similar. But let's use a between ratio just in case. All right, so I'm gonna go between figures. So I'm gonna start with the small and then pick a number from the big triangle. So I'm gonna use 14. So 14 is pink, so I'm gonna put that over 22. So I put pink over pink, and then I'm gonna put blue over blue. So start with the small, so I put 10 over 15. So 14 times 15, again, that's 210. 22 times 10 would be 220. Those are not equal. These are not similar figures. 
All right, now it is time for you to try. I want you to use color to identify your corresponding sides and then set up a within ratio and a between ratio and solve your proportions to see if these are similar. Make sure you show all your work and we will see you next class day.